Hi, I'm Lydia Gentle. I'm the Portfolio Delivery Manager for Coal. I was born and raised in far north Queensland and my grade 12 maths teacher was an engineer and it was him that encouraged me to study and James Cook University was the ideal option. Been able to study and stay close to home and the family. From there, I studied four years civil engineering at James Cook. To date, I've got numerous engineering degrees, Order of Australia, I'm an RPQ and Chartered Engineer. And I was also one of the youngest engineers to be awarded engineering exec with Engineers Australia. And really that degree that I got at James Cook was that stepping stone to enable me to have a fantastic career in the mining and resources sector. In my current role, I get to visit all the coal mines across Queensland and New South Wales. And probably one of my greatest endeavours recently is when I recycled the tyres from our major mining truck. We were able to recycle them and use them to pave the Peak Downs Highway and that enables the road to have a better wear and it also promotes that sustainability and that we're recycling our tyres and not just burying them in the ground. I've been nominated for the Rising Star Award for James Cook University alumni and I'm incredibly honoured to be recognised for this achievement. In my field, I'm still relatively young and I feel that I've had the opportunities to really work on quite a diverse portfolio. I've really been able to learn and be inspired from some amazing leaders. Being an engineer, where I think the stats are still around 13% of females graduating with an engineering degree, I'm privileged to have a team that's at 50-50, male to female. And with this, bringing that inclusion and that diversity is really key. And I bring that through my leadership style to really foster that cohesive environment where everyone loves coming to work, they can bring their whole selves to work, and we make it a fun place to be. At the moment, I'm currently working on some projects that are at the forefront of technology, on how we continue to, to automate, to make our minds safer, but also how do we decarbonise the equipment that we use to ensure that we do have that sustainable future for not only our children, but also our children's children.